Hello there, it's your girl Daphne back with another video. This time I'm bringing you a DIY balloon garland and it is the third garland that I've ever made and it's absolutely very easy to do so I thought I would share it with you. This is the finished product and I'm going to show you how I made it so let's get started. Now it's really up to you the balloon um, assortment that you use but I'm using all 12 inch latex balloons and because this is a color theme I'm using like a goldish color and a pearly white and also some um, confetti balloons to just add a little um, interest to the garland. So I'm not using a pump, but I have used pumps like when I do larger um, garland um, balloon assortments. But I'm just blowing them up. I'm not making them too big. I'm varying them in sizes. And then you also want to make sure that you keep the balloons round. So I, before I tie it, I press down to release a little bit of the air to ensure that the balloons are um, staying round. And the way that I like to do it is I do clusters. So I attach two to three balloons together and I basically just tie the balloons together. Once I get two together, then I take a third and then I wrap it around and then I tie it at the end. And you really wanna do as many clusters as you want and then we're gonna attach them all together at the end. So this garland is very easy to make and I use all dollar um, store balloons so it's not expensive at all and you can basically make it whatever size that you want it to be. Now as I said I am using all 12 inch latex balloons but in some cases I'm putting less air in so that it looks more like a 12 inch, a 9 inch, and a 5 inch balloon and I'm just making sure that I keep that rounded shape. Then I'm also adding in the confetti um, gold clear balloons and I'm just going to be adding them into the clusters. So I'd like to introduce myself again. My name is Daphne and I want to welcome you if this is the first time that you've clicked on my video today and I also want to welcome back all of my loyal subscribers. Now if you've ever wanted to or you've made a garland in the past, leave me a comment down below. So as you can see, I use um, ribbon streamers to attach each cluster to the next. So I just wound it around each cluster, making sure that it's secured to the previous one. And I try not to make the original string that I'm um, wrapping too long because you can always add on and make it longer at the end. Just as I'm doing here, I'm just tying and adding additional ribbon and then I'm just gonna continue on to make the garland fuller. So if you're enjoying this video, like I hope that you are, give it a thumbs up. And also if this is your first time here and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe. I really appreciate your support. So this is really the full process. Um, other people do other methods like I've done in the past. I've used the balloon strip, which is a kit or you can buy it individually. But I find this process to be very easy and very budget friendly. So I'm gonna be staging it here on my fireplace so that you can get a good look at how the garland is going to be looked after it's all attached. So 
So if you like these types of DIYs that are related around uh, parties and celebrations, leave me a comment down below because I really like sharing these types of DIYs. I just want to thank you for watching. I want to remind you if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, like I hope that you did, please give it a thumbs up and share with any friends and family that might like my content. Until the next time, have a blessed day.